Lucy. Lucy. Unless you're gonna start entertaining everybody, you gotta move. It's showtime. As usual, with the sound in these episodes, where I go into a resale shop, they were playing the radio to keep themselves amused. Um, so that combined with everybody who was walking around having conversations that I'm sure they don't need retold and rekindled on the internet um, means that I blanked all of the audio while I was in the store. I hope you'll enjoy it anyway even though you don't hear any of my running commentary about it. Um, this is our little trip today to Rock and Rad Relics. Uh, thank you very much again to all the people there. And I will see you all right after the footage because I want to show you what I bought. All right, stick around. Could be cool. Um, how's it going everybody in monkey shine world um i'm on the road right now i'm actually in a car which is upon the road and i am headed uh out to a little town that's kind of close to where i live um to go check out uh, Rockin' Red Relics and see what they have gotten lately. It's another one of our local, um, really cool sort of honey holes of antiques and toys and all that other fun stuff. So um, I am going to uh, drive the insanely dangerous At the next stop sign, bear right. Roads. With the aid of my my Jeepus, my Jeep GPS, my global positioning system, which will uh, unfailingly get me uh, where I'm going. I I already know how to get there, but um, I like to listen to the radio and be stupid. At the so. stop sign, bear right onto Vitae Springs Road South. Yeah, so you can you can see. Um, anyway. Uh, have fun until we get there, and then um, I'll show you lots of cool nerd stuff.
putting what I purchased in my pocket. I have something to discuss. Uh, but let me just get down here with the sign and say that this was Rock and Rad Relics, and that's here in Independence, Oregon. And so if you're coming through the state or coming through Salem, it's very close and more than worth the, uh, the ride to get here, as they say. Thank you very much to the folks here. Ooh. And thank you to my knees for straightening just one more time. Um, nothing like working up a sweat in an antique store to kind of tell you how you're aging, right? Oh my God, it's so hot in my car right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so warm in here. It's so warm. <sighs> yeah, I don't miss my buzz cut too much. For those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. I was bald at one point. Not for any reason other than to do it. All right. Let's get some air moving in here. And we're back at the lab. Uh, I just uh, want to say thank you again to everybody who was there, who uh, in, engaged me with conversation, and everybody who maintains the cash register there. I would like to notice one thing about these places that you should know. If you've not been into a sort of an antique collective like that, a little like collector's nook like that, um, you need to remember that every little vestibule is a different seller. It's not these people behind the counter. They're just there to help you out with your purchase and or to answer any questions. So I don't really give any names or faces in terms of the people that are there working because I would just rather that you consider the overall entity and all of the people who own all the merchandise in the thing and um, realize that it's all, each booth is individually maintained each booth is individually uh, set up and these people have to um, get it right. And so if you're going to go through there, if you're going to dig, if you're going to move things around, if you're going to film or whatever, I have two rules. Put it right back the way that you found it, unless it's sloppy. Put it right back the way you found it because somebody put it that way on purpose to display it. Uh, and the other thing is, if you're going to go into one of these places as a content creator, always remember to be polite, always keep people off camera whenever possible and respect their privacy. And always, always, always make a purchase. Okay, help them keep the lights on. That's important. But... That was rock and rad relics. Um, I just, I, I love the setups in there. There's so many cool things. And it, uh, another thing about these antique shops that are here in the Salem, Oregon area, um, they are all locatable on your uh, map program and all of their contact numbers and etc. So please look them up. If you're coming through, check their hours and they would love to see you trust me. Um, but if you're going to go in there as a content creator, if you're just looking for neat things to film, if it's cool enough to film, it's cool enough to spend a few bucks on. Okay. So if you're going to take a little, leave a little. Okay. And leave a lot of room and respect for people across this summer whilst they are in the stores too. These stores don't exist just for me to go out there and film cool stuff. They're actually struggling businesses. So give them your money before you give it to a box store. 
I don't mind filming in a box store and etc. I kind of feel like the corporations can be corporations and faceless, but these are individual businesses. So respect them as such, okay? Thank you very much for coming out here to the Monkey Shine Lab. We know people. There's so much content on the internet like this. So we're really glad when you come around and spend a couple of minutes of your life with us to take a look at what we got, okay? Speaking of which, um, if you saw in the opening shot, I slyly hid this one that I have been, it's been dangling from my ceiling for a very long time. I didn't know really, I, I, I sort of felt like I assumed maybe that that pterodactyl, that blue pterodactyl thing that you saw in the beginning of the show. Now you'll go back and watch the intro if you haven't. But um, I found an actual complete one with really nice paint and it's in really, really nice shape. All the joints are tight on it. Um, I, again, I'm gonna have to do an exact, uh, I'm gonna have to do a Google image search if you're un unaware of what I'm talking about there. I kind of talked about it on yesterday's show, okay? But it's a way to figure out what you're looking at, when you're looking at it, to see if it was worth buying. And of course, to me, it was worth buying because it's it's a really neat uh, uh, example of a figure that I already have, but it does barely hold its um, sort of two-headed dragon or tri uh, triceratops, I don't know. My kids are smarter than me. Anyway, thanks very much for coming out here to Monkey Shine Lab, people. And uh, we will see you all again very, very soon. I've got some other stuff coming up this weekend, so more filming, more filming. Annie says hello. She's out um, selling at a, at a Renaissance festival this weekend. So if you see her out there at the Renaissance Fair, folks, <laughs> make sure you say hi and tell her that her husband's behaving. All right. See you again tomorrow, folks. I got to go get some lunch or something. My blood sugar is. Take it easy. <laughs> All right, Lucy, you can have the seat back.